this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about factoring trinomials. Um, I think it's going to be helpful if you've had a little bit of experience with factoring trinomials and you're ready to kind of move on to the next level or understanding of factoring trinomials. So what I'm going to focus on in this little lecture is on how to determine the signs. How to determine the signs when you're factoring. Well, the key to determining the signs is to look at the last term. The last term will give you a lot of direction. If the last term is positive, then we have to choose signs that are both positive or both negative. If the last term is negative, then we want to choose signs where one is positive and one is negative. I'm going to show you a few examples here to, to illustrate this idea. In my first example, I'm factoring x squared minus 4x minus 12. Well, I focus right on the last term. The last term is negative. Since the last term is negative, I know that my signs have to be one positive, one negative. So I'll get my structure set up. One positive, one negative. And now what I want to do is since I have x squared at the beginning, I'll list x and x. The last term is 12, or negative 12, so I want to choose factors of 12. So I have 12 and 1, 6 and 2, 3 and and 4. So here are my possibilities. One of these factor pairs is going to work. Okay. So what I want these factors to do then is add to give me a 4 for my middle term, or in fact a negative 4 for my middle term. So notice, since 1 is positive and 1 is negative, some cancellation is going to take place. So I'm actually looking at factors where a difference of these factors is 4. So if I look at these, the difference between 12 and 1 is 11. That's not going to work. The difference between 2 and 6 is 4. This is going to be my factor pair. Now I just need to make sure I get it in the right spot. Notice I have more negatives when I add these together than I do positives. So I want to take the 6 and put it over here in the negative sign. So I'm going to take the 6, move it up here, and I'm going to take the 2 and move it over here to the positive. Reason being that now when I multiply these two, positive 2 times negative 6 gives me the negative 12. Positive 2 plus negative 6 gives me the negative 4 for my middle term. Next example. I look at the last term. It's positive. I either have to choose plus plus or minus minus. Well, let's take a look at the middle term there. The middle term is negative. Since the middle term is negative, and I want to add to make some negatives, I better choose minus minus. So, minus minus x, x, and now I'm going to list factors of 6. 2, 3, 6, 1. Okay, notice, since the signs are the same, I'm going to be adding a negative to a negative. Well, when I add negatives, they make more negatives. So I'm looking for factors that have a sum of 5. A sum 2 and 3, the sum of 2 and 3 is 5, so that's going to be the factor pair that I choose. And now notice, since both signs are negative, it doesn't matter whether I put the 3 there or the 2 there. So I'll put in the 2, put in the 3. Now notice a negative 2 times a negative 3 gives me a positive 6, and a negative 2 plus a negative 3 adds to give me a negative 5. Last example. Go to the last term. The last term is negative, so I either have to choose. Sorry, I don't have any choices. The last term is negative, so I have one positive, one negative. X and X. Let's look. Factors of 4. I can choose 2 and 2, or 4 and 1. Notice I'm adding opposites. When I add these things, cancellation is going to take place. 2 and 2 would give me a 0 for my middle term. I want to have 3 for my middle term. 4 and a 1, the difference between 4 and 1 is 3. So that's the factoring I want to choose. Now I just got to make sure I get them in the right spot. Notice when I add these, I want to have more positives than negatives. So I want to put the 4 in the positive spot, the 1 in the negative spot. Notice when I multiply, positive 4 times negative 1 gives me the negative 4. When I add, 4 plus negative 1 gives me a positive 3. Hopefully this was helpful.